Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Average Guy Survival. Uh, I apologize for my voice this morning. I am uh, came down with something. Don't know what. So I'm at home drinking tea and uh, not doing my regular job. So uh, my employer gives sick days, but uh, prepping and uh, homesteading stuff, you don't really get to have a sick day with that kind of stuff. So. Um, I'm going to take an opportunity this morning to talk a little bit about uh, food storage. We did a video on food storage where I was doing rice in uh, vacuum seal bags, um, I don't know, maybe a month, month and a half ago, something like that. Uh, today though, I want to talk about Mylar. So um, Mylar bags, you can get these on Amazon, that's where these came from. These are the gallon size, so I'm doing some, some larger storage today. And uh, the nice thing about Mylar is it is um, impervious to light. So light and oxygen, when storing food for long term, they're, they're your enemy. <clears throat> what you want to do when storing in Mylar is you want to make sure that you use an oxygen absorber because you're protected from the light being in the Mylar, but the oxygen absorber is going to remove the oxygen from the atmosphere inside the bag you don't have to vacuum seal these the oxygen absorber is actually going to suck it down a little bit tighter but as long as there's no oxygen in here and there's no light getting in here um, what I'm doing right now this is rice and um, this is going to be good for 30 years of storage because the light and the oxygen cannot get to the rice so any bug larva anything like that that's in here because it it's in here um, you're allowed to have a certain number of bug parts or whatever per million in food production. So, I mean, there, there are bug eggs in here. And um, if I stored this long term without protecting it from light and oxygen, they would, uh, they would hatch. We'd have little weevils and things in here eventually. So um, if you're storing for long term for emergency use, Mylar is definitely the way to go. Uh, the, the method I used before with the... Uh, vacuum vacuum seal bags. They're gonna work quite well um, I put them in buckets so they are protected from light. They are protected from oxygen but even with the bucket and I have a uh, sil Silica gel packet in there with them to keep moisture out even with all that um, It's not as good as the mylar the, uh, the mylar like I said is good for 30 years The vacuum sealing method I used before is only good for 20 which is significant you're still going to have food stored for you know a couple of decades if you don't get into it, but um, you know why not go thirty if you can? So you know when I'm eighty years old, this will still be good. So anyway, I'm going to let you know in here I've got uh, it was nine cups of rice, so that's good for about six meals um, unless of course you're using it as the main the main food in your meal you might want to use more obviously depending on how many people you're feeding we're gonna be feeding five so for us rice as a side works pretty good uh, with a cup and a half of rice to a cup and a half of water you get three cups of rice total when everything absorbs that's usually pretty good as a side. Obviously, if you're doing rice as your main meal, you know, for depending on how many people you have, you know, five like me, you're gonna wanna do it bigger. But um, anyway, so I've got my oxygen absorbers here. What I wanna do, get that open. So just one oxygen absorber, just this little packet here, it's gonna go right in that bag. And the oxygen absorber is going back into this resealable bag that it came in. I'm going to squeeze the air out of here and reseal the bag because if it sits out in the open air, it's just going to suck up all the oxygen until it can't hold anymore and then it's not good for anything. So we definitely want to keep these sealed up. So a lot of people, when they're doing the, um, the mylar, what they'll do is they'll uh, use a a flat iron just along the top which will um, melt it and seal it together 
I know there's one in the house somewhere. My wife's gone to work. I'm not going to bug her about, you know, where's the flat iron. So I'm using our vacuum sealer. I'm just not going to use the vacuum portion of it. I forgot to mention, one of the nice things about this particular Mylar bag we bought is it is resealable. So I'm just going to seal it along the top edge here. So then when we're ready to use it, it's got this little notch here. Just tear off the top, pop it open, use what you want, reseal it. So um, it'll keep it fresh for multiple uses once you've opened it up. So once again, found these on Amazon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this in here right on top of that little sealing element. And close her up and seal. So let's just take a second. It's just heating the element, melting the bag. And then uh, it came with these handy little labels. So I'm going to label this you know, rice September 2022. So then we know in 2052 it's got to get used because it's only good for 30 years. But uh, I believe we're going to be using it before then. All right, I do believe we are sealed. All right, so as you see here, we've got this nice little sealed line along the top. It's above the notches where you can tear it off. And that oxygen absorber is in there, so in a, in a couple of days, this is gonna be sucked down, you know, kind of hard, like it's almost vacuum packed. And that's gonna be good for 30 years. Um, with the way things are going in the world today, if you're not paying attention, you need to start paying attention because food shortages are, are going on around the world right now. And uh, you may not be seeing it where you are yet, but please keep in mind that frozen vegetables, dried stuff, um, frozen meats, things of that nature that you're still seeing in the store and maybe plentiful and you know, canned vegetables, those are all things that were grown last year and butchered last year. Um, most of what you're seeing now wasn't produced this year and what they're producing this year is in short supply. So in 2023, I do believe we're going to be seeing some issues with uh, food supply. So um, you need to be storing up and getting ready to the best of your ability um, so that uh, when hard times come that you're going to have food put away and you're going to have you know something you can eat. Um, we're going to be storing a lot of rice and beans they keep for a long long time rice and beans together make a full protein um, you can live on just that for a long time obviously you're going to want other vegetables excuse me i need a little tea so anyway what you're obviously going to want you know vegetables in your diet so people need to be gardening if you have room to do it you need to do it um, we have room to raise animals, so we've got eggs, and I've got, uh, got goats. So we have a, uh, another protein source there that is renewable. And uh, this is just stuff I'm trying to get people to think about because, it, you know, hard times will come. They may not be next year. I might be wrong, but all the predictions I'm seeing, people I've been listening to are saying a lot of the same stuff. So anyway, um, Mylar bags are a great way to store rice long term. You can store other things in there as well, other dry beans, um, dehydrated vegetables, things like that. You can store the Mylar. It'll stay good a lot longer because of the light and oxygen thing. So um, anyway, if you're finding this kind of information helpful, please like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, give me a question. Um, I will be happy to answer any questions that people may have. I always try to respond to comments. And uh, thank you to everyone who has subscribed at this point and shown support and given comments and everything. Um, just past 100 subscribers, which I'm really excited about. Um, also, pumpkins. I want to throw a shout out to my wife's channel. You can find her on YouTube at, um, I'm sorry, Drop Dead Mediocre. She is doing uh, cooking videos. During the month of October, she is going to have a video a, a video a day for the entire month of October uh, with pumpkin recipes. So um, it's a good thing I'm growing seminal pumpkins like crazy because we're going to need them. And uh, I'm really going to enjoy all the pumpkin stuff, so don't tell her. Anyway, um, like I said, please like, subscribe. Thanks for coming, ben. Thanks for coming back and watching that video. And uh, please come back and check again. I'm going to post some more stuff later. Thanks.